now I am uh, the managing director of a grassroots nonprofit organization here in Northwest Ohio called Women After Leader. Um, as a managing director, I oversee a lot of program and services and managing staff. Um, Women After Leader is a nonprofit 501c3 uh, that help create program and services that educate engage, empower women and girls in our community. Being a part of a student at University of Toledo have very much impactful the outcome of my involvement in the community here in Toledo. Um, I came as an international student uh, to go to school and as international student you were expected to graduate and return home but I kind of find my happy ending here in the community um, so I really enjoy uh, my experience with, uh, as a student at University of Toledo uh, during my graduate school um, I was able to involve with community more uh, with my graduate assistant uh, which opened up more opportunity for me to call to lead a home. So when I was in graduate school, um, I was challenged by my professor um, to study a network gap uh, in our community. Um, that's how my involvement with the community have branched out. Um, from that research, I got to learn more about the community in Toledo, understanding the social and network gap for women like me who came here to just go to school and how to create our sense of belonging and be involved in the community. And turn out to be now, this is my job. Um, from going to school, doing a research, and now I was able to have a unique position and create that job for me where it's needed in our community. Receiving this award, definitely I am honored um, and humbling at the same time because the work that I'm doing is in service of others you don't really look into getting recognition and award because that is why I do what I do. Um, I come from a very service oriented and my goal is always to serve others and help others uh, create a sustainable solution for their life, especially in their economic empowerment. Um, so you just do your day-to-day -day work without thinking about getting recognition. So when I got the phone call and conversation with the alumni group um, about the recognition, first I was like, wait, are you, it is, it is honoring, it's very humbling. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much uh, because sometimes it's important that your work get validation and recognition uh, that you are doing something right. <laughs> in your community and you can continue doing that work. Wow, um, currently if you ask me my professional accomplishment, probably creating the opportunity for women and girls in our community. Um, and then I have a daughter. Um, when my daughter was in school, um, she have a situation where having an organization like Women of Toledo and the Young Women of Toledo Initiative will help so much with her intersectionality, identity. I see her struggle in other of our young women in our community. Um, at that moment, I want to just solve that one issue. I want to help uh, my intersectional daughter find her belonging and feel comfortable with her own identity and uniqueness. Um, by surprise, to not to be, there's a lot of young women in our community that come from mixed marriage, interracial, intersectionality, 
are moving here from different country, different city, trying to find home and that sense of belonging. So to not to be like solving that issue of one to help close their social and network gap, um, find Toledo home, now we have created an opportunity for others. Um, so it is first at the beginning, it's very selfish that I want to help close that gap for myself and my daughter. Now we have created such an opportunity and visibility for all women and girls that look like us and talk like us. Um, so far right now, I think my professional accomplishment is creating that support and program services for women and girls that is next generation, that is coming after me. I came as an international student. This is way back in 1997. At that moment, um, our international student population is, we do have a large community, especially students coming from Malaysia. Um, I definitely, my good memories at uh, University of Toledo, definitely the involvement with the student affair, um, especially the international student uh, group, um, getting involved with the Center for International Student Studies, um, you know, having an opportunity to volunteer. So you don't just go to school just to get an education. Um, but I believe that my experience at University of Toledo have opened up to also help support how to have that social skill uh, in your involvement with a lot of other groups. Uh, I really enjoy my time with the Abilene Center for Women, um, attending all their lunch brown bags. So you don't just get um, your education in your academia, but also you were able to apply some of what you learn in the classroom uh, in other involvement uh, with the university. Um, I think that is very important for students and I highly recommend don't just go to college or school just to go to school to get the education. Um, from the education, you, you want to create um, your knowledge and apply it to the real world. And University of Toledo have give that to me. Definitely, I would say the Judy Herb College of Education, um, all the professors um, from that college have been very impactful in my uh, experience as a student. And also now, uh, I still continue making connection with many of my professors, have regular coffee. Um, it's definitely, I would name Dr. Sajana Des. Um, she's also my chairperson for my master thesis. Um, right now, I'm still involved with the whole College of Women Gender Study. Dr. Sharon Barnes has been a tremendous mentor throughout my professional and personal career until today. And of course, the whole entire staff at Center for International Study, um, I would say Sarah Clark, um, you know, Dr. Sammy Span and Simran, um, we are still working and collaborating um, with all the college and the staff there. Um, it's amazing that, you know, you get to know them while you as a student and now you build that relationship to continue in your professional life. Don't be afraid to get involved. And even though after you graduate, get involved with your alumni group. Uh, get involved and still make that connection with some of your professor and some of any, um, you know, mental advisor that you get in your higher education environment. Um, not we have to learn that it's not just about what you know. Sometimes it's just about who you know, and you do not know that a professor or lecturer or anything that you're involved in your campus that can make a bigger impact 
uh, for you in your professional career. Um, definitely, I say get involved. Um, like I mentioned, don't just come to school to receive that academic experience, but get involved in your student, uh, student organization. Get involved with a lot of the student affairs. Um, and I think that will give you a lot of abandon. Um, you don't know what you don't know. Um, open up and have that experience and live to the fullest. I definitely feel that at the career I'm doing right now with Women Toledo, uh, which I helped found it too, that is kind of my legacy. And I do believe that having an organization like Women of Toledo will be impacted and have a great outcome to women and girls in our community. Um, I definitely feel my legacy is having the opportunity for my daughter to have an easier route as she navigated her professional career. And I want that also legacy to be the next young women or current student at University of Toledo as they find their community to be able to have an easy route, easy journey for, for them. That it will be my legacy um, that I look forward to continue working and hopefully be able to pass to the next leader uh, because great leader inspire others to be leader. Um, so definitely right now working with the team here at Women After Leader to keep the legacy going.